destination so we are here checked in the hotel so me and this one my shadow um get ready to go out to marshall's or ross or someplace y'all i thought i checked the weather and i could have sworn it said it was gonna be like in the 80s and the 90s here i don't know what weather i was checking or who what what i was what area i was checking because i show packed for the wrong occasion it is going to be what what the weather was gonna be like 40s. The weather's gonna be like in the 40s. All I got is this jean jacket and I bought but clothes. Tomorrow is in the 70s. And it's like, what, 71? Yeah, 71. Oh. But yeah, I packed for 80 and 90 degree weather. I didn't pack for any cold weather at all and it's cool. And this is all I got, just a jean jacket. Everything else is shorts, sandals, tank tops. No type of, no, nothing to, to, to be warm in. So I'm getting ready to go to a Marshalls or a Ross or somewhere, someplace to where I can find me 
some some tennis shoes, some sneakers or something, and possibly. Did you bring the room key with you? No. Oh, I, th I got it. I got it. And possibly like a hoodie or something, because even though it's gonna be 71 degrees, it's gonna feel like it's 71, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna feel like a little bit cooler. So I'm cold natured. I'm always cold. Oh, okay. I'm always cold. So Are therefore, dogs legal huh? Dogs legal here? Do what? Are dogs legal here? Legal here? What you mean legal? Like in this hotel? Yeah, uh, obviously it you is. Didn't they tell got, me? I didn't know that. I didn't look. Right, 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 right. Why? Are you trying to bring Lotto? Yes. You could. You have She's plenty. She's never been out the state before. Well, you have plenty of opportunity to take your dog out the state. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to Arasa Marshalls, like I was saying, for the last 10 minutes to try to find me something a little bit more warm because if we're going to be outside in the field and watching these kids play, I'm going to have to be cool. I'm going to have to be warm because your girl can't take the cold. <laughs> no, not I, said the cat. Not I. No, no. No, no. All right, so I found these shoes right here. I'm getting ready to try these on real quick. And they're only... Thirty nine ninety nine. My shoes are ugly. I, I, I just can't let you use them. What you mean they ugly? I'm about to try these on. Oh my. You said these are ugly? Yes. Well, I actually kind of like them. What about these? I like those too. See? What size like are those? Too. I'm about to try these on. A first. 10. Amen. Let me show y'all what they look like. Here with a shoe right here. I think these are so cute, but my son was like he don't like them, but I actually like them. What do you mean these months? They on sale. Twenty eight dollars. I really, really like these. The right shoe. And these are another pair that I actually really like too. And these are these right here. Three box. These are 40 bucks. And these are all oh, men. They, they don't? Uh, these are 12. Dude, for some reason these feel like they look long. They, they don't look long to you. To me they do. Go. I like them better. These? Yeah. Ugh, why? But your foot's so wide. I need a, these too big. Yeah, these too big. I'm wow. gonna need a nine. What's your but, size? But these are men. You said a 10 men. Yeah, but these are too big. What these? These looks light. They're cute. These are these are no because these look they they feel like they just look too big. A women I wear eleven. Oh, they, they ain't got no good. Well, what was them green ones you just had? Mm -hmm. What size them is? Eight. Oh, no. Seven. These are cute too. Five and a half. 
Oh, we went to Marshalls first, and I didn't find anything in Marshalls. They had those sneakers in there, but I was like, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of on the fence about it, and I feel like if I don't really like the shoe or really love the shoe, I'm not going to get it because then I'll regret buying it, and then I'm going to take it back, and I ain't got time for that. So I didn't get anything from Marshalls. So we went over to Ross, and I did get a pair of dress pants, and I got the guys a few things, but that's the only thing I saw in there. So I'm going to just have to make do with what I got. I got this jean jacket on. I got this black tank top that I bought from Target the other day. And um, some black shorts and my sandals. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll warm up while we're out there on the field. We did go to Jollibee last night. We don't have a Jollibee where I, where I live or where I'm from, which is North Carolina. The closest Jollibee. This is the closest Jollibee to us, ain't it, Byron? I think this, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, when I went on that website one time before, I think this state, which is Virginia, we're close to the edge of Washington, but this was the closest location to our house that has a Jollibee. Um, we went there, when, we went to Jollibee one time before we was in New York, and we tried uh, their chicken and their pineapple punch, uh, but I don't think we ever tried their spaghetti or any other thing or any else, anything else that was on the menu. So last night we ended up eating like a plethora of stuff as you guys saw. So Jollibee was good. So the boys are already at the field. They got up last night and congregated, and I already knew when they congregated that nobody wanna come. No kids was coming back to our room last night. I already knew that. So they congregated up, got up together last night. They stayed at another hotel, which is about 10 minutes from us. So, you know, me and B Smooth, we, you know, we on the chill mode. So we chilled, ate dinner, watched TV till we fell asleep. And so now we're up, right eye, bushy tail, getting ready to go down to this field. And hopefully it won't be too cool out there. If it is, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it's not too cool. I mean, hopefully it's not, yeah, hopefully it's it's okay. I'll be able to endure. I will be able to endure going and speak it into an existence. But um, yeah, I thought we was gonna have time to stop and get some coffee, but I don't know if we're gonna have time now because the game start at 10. And guess what time it is now? <laughs> 10. Wait, do the game start at 10 or 10.45? Let me go. Let me see what time the game start. I mean, they got two games today, so even if we are late to this one, it's fine. They, they still got a whole nother game. And it's a tournament, so... Um, they're, um, they're playing all day today, so... If we miss or be late for this particular one, it's fine. I was trying to see what time one of the games start, but I don't see it. I got the address. I see the address, but I don't see the actual itinerary as to what time the games are playing. Or oh, here it is. Let's see. Oh, at 10 on field two. You ready to buy? Yeah, it's 10 on 2 when they start. The first game is at 10. But the next game after that, they play again at 4. Yeah, so they play at 10 and 4. And then tomorrow, it depends on what who what happens today. That's I think that's how that works. But anyway, let's get going. We we'll see all that to feel. Go, go. 
get myself together for dinner um, me and uh, Beast Move have reservations at Benihana so that's where we're going for our date night um, yay to my boys y'all my boys won and it just makes me feel so good it makes my heart melt to know that my kids are a part of an organization that they are basically getting full rides full scholarships to schools to colleges you know what I'm saying recruiters are looking at them they won their game and it just makes me feel really good to know that they're a part of something to keep them out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? I just thank God that they're, they have a love for sports. And as long as they're playing, mama going to be there. And it, it just made my heart feel so good, you guys, just to see that they're happy with, with doing something than wasting their life. You know what I'm saying? So it was a very proud, proud moment proud moment for me and sitting out there in the hot sun y'all <laughs> I got is I know it's got me like two or three shades darker And I didn't bring my big mirror, so all I got is this little mirror right here. This little makeup mirror. That's what I'm using, y'all. And my husband's in the bathroom, so our dinner reservations is at our dinner reservations is at 8:30. We're about 20 minutes away. And it's 7:52 now, so I'm trying to just put a little bit of look so I won't look so crazy. Put a little bit of makeup on my face to look kind of, you know, put put together. Not doing a whole a full face or anything like that. And I came back to the room, took me a good old shower. Lay across that <coughs> lay across that bed for a while. Much <coughs> which was much, much needed. Much needed. <laughs> Why every time I 
time I go to put on makeup, my nose start running.
You got anything you want to tell the people about our anniversary? I'm happy to be married. Seven years. Seven whole days. Seven whole years. That's a long time. Did you ever think that you would be married to me for seven years, babe? I, I hope so. I didn't get married to get divorced. <laughs> well, even though there were a few people that thought we would be divorced. Uh, we have mixed ears and haters no matter what you do. Yep. Haters gonna hate. They gonna hate. I think this is the way we came in. If we go up the side right here or we go to the front. It don't matter. Both of them go in. in a Is that where we you came in? Yeah. But yeah. Okay. They should have. No, they would have should have had as a darn pool. <laughs> this big old nice facility don't have a pool. Now this is the first stay bridge that we've stayed at that don't have a pool. Every stay bridge that we've stayed at had a pool, right babe? Mm -hmm. This is the first one that don't have a pool. Beats me why. They, but they got this little putt putt right here. <laughs> they could have kept that. <laughs> I saved a little bit. I got a little bit of room for some Benny Hanna's. I think I told y'all already that's where we were going to Benny Hanna's. So I got some room left. Because we did eat a slice of pizza earlier for lunch. But that was about. What time that was? We had pizza, babe? About. I don't know. Hello? About 12? Yeah, it was up, Yeah, we had pizza about uh, noon. So. We is ready to go. We ready to rumble. Yeah. <laughs>
hey guys well so what's up welcome back to another day in the vlog so you guys it is literally so cold out here and this this is day two of the um of the rugby tournament y'all and when i say i cannot take the cold y'all already know i cannot take the cold if you don't know i i can't take cold being cold i can't concentrate i can't focus i can't talk i can't think when I'm, when i'm too too cold and i was sitting out there on the field trying to watch my kids play i couldn't take it so i just came in in the car and got my heat on and i'm just basically watching the game from the car and i mean i still got a really good view um, and I can still see everything, but I just couldn't be actually on the field because it's just that cold. But y'all, when I say I am so tired, I don't know why. I don't. I guess it's because we've been on the go, go, go all weekend long. Oh, they got the ball! They got the ball! But yeah, we've been on go all weekend long, and then we got a four and a half, five hour drive back to North Carolina. So, y'all, when I say I'm tired, I am tired. And I should have taken off tomorrow from work, but I didn't. But luckily, I ain't driving, so I'll be able to sleep in the car. Um, I'll be able to, you know, sleep in the car on the way back home or whatever, so... But yeah, but um, these kids are like really, really playing their hearts out. One guy, one of the kids broke their nose um, on our team. He broke his nose and he is trying his best to play. I don't know. I have, I don't, I don't see him out on the field just yet because this is the second game that they had today. They had a game early this morning and then they, they're, this, they're playing their second game. And one of the fellas broke their nose, y'all. And the, goal, the nose is like to the side, literally. But I don't see him out there on the field yet, so I'm hoping that the coaches do not let him play because that would not be good for him to get more damage than what it's already done. But he's been adamant about wanting to play, but I don't know what they're going to do. Or how they, I don't know how they handle injuries. But I do know one thing for sure as far as this sports is concerned. They don't wear shoulder pads. They don't wear any type of equipment or whatever, so they're out here kicking the ball and basically tackling each other. It's a contact sport. But I just have to keep praying that these kids my kids all of the kids on the team that they just stay healthy they, you know nothing bad happens to them i just plead the blood of jesus and cover them under the grace ask god to cover them because this is definitely uh oh oh god dog it they done got the ball good tackle good tackle um i just pray and ask god to cover them so they don't want get any type of injuries or anything like that but the, I'm, I'm learning more and more about the game as I watch it and kind of understand the fund fundamentals of the actual game and stuff like that. Ooh, that boy tackled the crap out of him. Th this game kind of intense. Ooh! <sighs> you got to have, you definitely have to have like a Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are literally these some big boys. These are some really big boys that they play. I don't know what where this team is from, but the y'all. There's some big boys. And our our boys are pretty big too. But they, they, our boys are like literally sacking them down, knocking them down left and right, left and right. Like they can't get too far with the ball. So I'm like I said I was I'm understanding the game and the principle of it more and more as I watch it and kind of understand it. But you know it's like I said like I said before in the previous vlog it's in between football and soccer, um, and my kids seem to really love it. So the more that they love it and the more that they're into it, I have no choice but to be into it as well. So we didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I did stop by and went to uh, Tropical Smoothie Cafe and got me a smoothie. Y'all, these smoothies actually hold you over. So, I never really realized that smoothie could be actual a meal replacement. And these are definitely replacing the actual meal because I did not eat breakfast this morning. 
which I'm really not a breakfast person anyway like that. But I do, you know, every now and then I do try to get me a little something on my stomach early in the morning just so I can kind of get my day started off to a good start. They said, no, you is not getting a ball. Oh, my goodness. Let me so let me show y'all what I see. So y'all won't be looking at me like, what is she talking about? Y'all, we came to the infamous Wawa. This is another uh, gas station or store or facility that we do not have in North Carolina where we live at. So every time we come up to the DMV area, we always like to stop at the Wawa. Wawa is like a staple um, store that I like to go to. Let's see what they got on their menu for today. So like cheese. A little bit, yeah. That pizza look good. But they don't start the four. What time is it? Oh, it's at the five. Don't want a pizza. Look at that dinner. I got pizza, chicken tender. I meant crispy chicken sandwiches and burgers, chicken, wraps, whole oh, keys. Oh, oh. A burrito? Yeah. What you oh, want in your burrito? Cheese. Oh, this is okay. Well, you, I'm gonna start my own order here then. Okay. Since he's gonna kick me off the machine. Let's try this again. Oh, let's do dinner. I ain't never seen these before. They got these um, Mike's Hot Honey Chips. Yeah, one in the night. We've been feeding deeper hands for a feed that farmers don't sell us.